Whoa, look at this ship! My goodness. Hello? Somebody's gotta have calcium equum here. I can feel it, okay? This place feels rich. I mean, Oxenford as a whole, not this specific house. Everything's locked. Well, I guess we can try to head back to maybe the Gwent guy then. <laughs> There's so much to look at in this town though. Town? City. What are you staring at? A gal shit on me? Seaman. Oxenford Harbor. Oh, that's another fast travel point. Okay, so even within the same city, there's multiple points just because... Oh, that's the Western Gate? It's more like the Southern Gate to me. Before war broke out, several hundred people a day would pass through here. Now the Redanian blockade has slowed traffic to a mere trickle. Oxenford's picturesque port has featured as the subject of numerous odes and ballads, the setting for at least three lurid crime novels, and a favorite spot for romantic outings for generations of students. Mm. Still tons that we haven't looked at yet. Stepan is... Oh, there's a contract here. The Oxenford drunk. Forget it. Forget it. The innkeep. Stepan is the innkeep. We should start heading there. Long live, etc., etc. Yes. Marketplace. Oh, the inn. The alchemy. The alchemy. Hey, do you sell calcium equum? Please? No, this is the inn. Why why is it called the alchemy? Am I in the wrong building? What do you want of me? Sorry. Sorry. Is it true you brought 300 L's of black cloth? Hmm. Deal of a lifetime. How so? There's a war on. Folk only buy what they need. Fabric grows cheaper by the week. But the war will end one day. And if Nilfgaard wins, black fabric will be a very valuable commodity. You'll see. And if Redania wins? Then I'll sell the cloth for shrouds. But either way, I stand to profit. Wow. <laughs> a forward thinker. No books here? Why is everybody coughing here? My goodness. Uh, Stepan? Come one, come all. The cook, Stepan. We don't serve lushes, shavers, caretakers, or students from Philosopher's Hall. Do I look like a, um, any of the people from that list? Doesn't hurt to check, just so it's clear how things stand. So what did they do to you, the students from... Rather not talk on it, all right. <laughs> What's your poison? What do you have? Mind if I have a look? Ooh, you have cards for sale. That's great. You can buy them right away. These are for Skoyat's Hell. So maybe not, not the great. <gasps> Another commander's horn. I need these. These are great. Can I just stuff them all in my deck? Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. You are so rich. You're so rich. You play Gwent? Not with just anybody, and always for high stakes. With you, I might. How high are we talking about here? I'll play on your terms. Wait. We didn't do the betting thing. That's kind of scary. Northern Realms? Commander's Horn. Is it a bad idea if I just stuff them all in my deck? I feel like it's a good idea because the commander's horn so far, as far as I can tell, is a pretty good card. Um, everything else we don't really need. But now we have 31 cards. Maybe just two commander's horns? Not that many. And like all, the, all these weather cards too. I'm not sure if we need all of them. But you know, we'll just do whatever Lady Luck decides for us. Okay, when he's siege expert. Uh, do we need even two of this? I don't even know. Maybe we just need one. No. 
Well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. What? He canceled my leader ability? Oh my god. Torrential rain. Sabrina Glyphosig. Oh, uh, these are ranged. Ranged. Close combat. Ranged. Spy. Siege, siege, siege. Don't have another catapult, unfortunately. So I have a commander's horn here. That's good. But we could probably redraw Sabrina Glyphosig. Just to see. Ballista, that's good. Torrential rain? We might want to use it for a round when we're not really using siege cards. So maybe I'll keep it. Uh, other than that, Sheldon's gags. Because I know four. Four is like the lowest number in my entire deck. Aside from that one Kedwenny Siege Expert, so it's probably good for us to take it away. Yeah, see, we got a five. Medic! My girl, my favorite medic! <laughs> oh my god! A six to begin with. Hold up though, I want to see your ability, like what is going on here? Cancel your opponent's leader ability. What? The white flame dancing on the, the you know, one of the corpses of his opponents or whatever the heck. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, hold up, hold up. Unfortunately, I only have one catapult. Mm. But these siege cards would do a lot if I can combine it with um, the commander's horn. So I don't necessarily want to immediately, uh, immediately use it. Can we try Stennis right here? Stennis would make it so that they would have an even bigger number, but... I'm already losing the first round anyway. That's my plan, so I think this might be okay. Okay, I got a whole bunch of Siege cards. If they have a thing that stops Siege, Torrential Rain, I'm so done. Oh, they took my... What? He took my spy. Oh. Oh, well, that's... That's interesting. Okay, six. Six. Oh, I don't want to use Siege because I want to... Um, I want to save them up. Maybe I'll try Zoltan for now. Are you going to pass? Because you, you either pass or you don't. What are you going to do? Oh, wow. Okay, that's okay. That's okay because I have, I have plenty of cards for this. I will put down maybe Kira. Kira, and then I'll be 6 and 6. Oh, but the Nilf Guardian faction ability makes it so that if it's a draw, they win, right? Mm. We'll see. Oh. Well, we made it so that he wasted a few cards. I don't think that's a bad thing, especially because I drew two extra cards. But we gotta remember that he has my spy right now, so he can draw two more cards later on as well. Uh, do I really want to use more? Should I just call it a day? I don't know. I'm not sure. I do have a lot of siege cards, but as many as I have, I can only use the commander's horn for one round anyway. It's not that crazy. And right now, I don't have clear weather. Mm. Okay, let's just pass. Let's, let's pass and... Uh, I don't know about this one, though. He does seem strong. That's fine. Oh, but I have the medic. I should have probably put down something bigger to just scare the guy. Okay. That's fine. So now he's getting two cards back. I still have more cards. Maybe. A little bit more. Uh, I want to save this guy, but I don't think we'll get to draw any more. Prinfrid. Reaver. Stefan Skellen. Another spy! Oh, this is not looking good for me, is it? Can I pass? I don't know. I don't know if I can pass or not, because I don't know what you're... <laughs> I have to win this round, though. Like, have to. Have to, have to. In my... Uh, I only have these two cards here. Um... We'll try adding this one, and then we can take it back with a medic later on if we need to. 
We just have to make sure that we win this round, though, because if we don't, then we can't even play the third round. Okay, that's fine. So now I really have to hope that he doesn't have a Torrential Rain card. <laughs> okay. Well, better just put everything on the field. Even the freaking medic is freaking siege, are you kidding me? Oh, but I also have a spy. Spy, that might be good for me. More cards? Or, Stefan Skellen. Well, this would be better, right? Because this guy's lower. His number's lower. I don't want him to have a higher number. Okay, clear weather. Now I feel a little bit better. <gasps> hey, why are you in the Nilf Guardian deck? Yennefer Vengerberg. Can I see? Can I just see? Choose one card from your... You're a medic. Magic is chaos, art and science. It is a curse, blessing, and a progression. And this one's a hero card, right? I think? Yeah, it has some nice borders. I don't know how to get a hero card. Maybe by beating him? Last round, we just gotta go all out. We have two commander's horns. This is great. We just have to go all out. Oh! We have a clear weather. Not all is lost just yet. Let's calm down. Why are you taking cards back? It's the last round, man. So it looks really bad right now because it's all turning into ones, but as soon as I cast clear weather. So glad I got that card. Huh, there's one little archer. Oh, but what the heck? What kind of a skill did it have? Choose one card from your discard pile. Another medic. Oh my god. Jeez. I'm in a bit of a pinch here because I only have siege cards left. Only. Okay. Oh my god. Hmm. Can I stack my commander's horns in the same row? I don't know. This is looking kind of not good for me. He has a bit of- he has quite a bit of cards. Okay, we can't stack it. Okay. I want to use the clear weather last because... Yeah, because of that. I'm even gonna use my torrential rain if that's okay. Yep. Just to make sure that he uses as many cards as he has. And now we gotta... we gotta leave it to fate. 76. What's he got? Three more cards. Oh, jeez. Ten? Ten! Yes! Yeah! Holy crap, those numbers were getting really big towards the last round here. Whew! Very narrow victory. I don't like losing, but that don't mean I don't do it with grace. The card and the prize are yours. You've been playing a while. Gotta know where I can find some interesting cards. In Novigrad, there's Oliver the Innkeeper. He plays, though he's far beneath my level. Closer, in Velen, there's the barkeep at the inn at the crossroads. You mean that guy who got really mad at me for making a mess of his inn? Ah, so he gave us the Yennefer card. Cool, but that's for the Nilfgaardian deck, right? So I feel like we're not really gonna be... Oh! No, 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 she can be used for this one as well. Okay, get her in here! Get her in! Oh, I'm so glad I had two commander's horns. That was basically the reason why I could win. Woo! Woo! Oh, say, can I get more clear weather cards? <laughs> I feel like maybe that... Yeah, yeah, getting more clear weather cards as opposed to getting all these other weather cards. It helps me control the variables a little bit more, I feel like. Huh, so maybe that's not a bad plan at all. Oh, oh, I'm really happy about this one. Yay! Yay, and now we... 
We can continue playing Gwent by playing the other people. Oh, we have to play the Baron as well, that's right. That's right. Lots of things going on here. Okay. Anything else in Oxenford? Or are we pretty much done here? Um, I'm not sure if we want to keep exploring Oxenford or go back to the Baron right away. I feel like because we're here already. Oh my god, what is that? <gasps> New haircut! Okay, we're staying here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the card. <sighs> Nobody worth talking to here. My good live the king. Three hundred elves. Yes. Mm. Students. Deal of a lifetime. Students going to pubs maybe, after their studies and not. all. Maybe go fuck yourself. It's locked. Crawl back under your rock. They're playing Gwent, but they're rolling dice for some reason. <laughs> the barber. Where is the barber? No, everything is locked. Keep that, that open. I'll crack your skull open. Go on. I ain't, I ain't afraid. I bet the beggar at Oxenford makes quite a bit, a good bit of sum. Stay out of my Barber. way. Hello. I'm the only customer? Makes me a little bit wary. <laughs> Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Ooh, we can get a haircut and style our beard. I'm okay with my hair, but can we see the styles? Ooh, shaved except for a ponytail. Is that like the, the Sintra haircut that we had in The Witcher 2? Long and loose. Loose, not too long. Shaved on the sides, short on top, and a ponytail. Or maybe that's a Sintra one. The Elven Rebel Cut. Uh, I don't really know. I guess we'll just try maybe the first one. We are in the big city after all, so we should maybe look a bit more presentable. People would probably treat me a little bit better then, huh? Ooh. I feel like I'm not used to looking at this. <laughs> but you know, we'll just we'll just leave it as it is. What was the one that we had called? Loosely gathered, tied behind the head. Okay, cool. We will roll with that for a little bit. We can get different beard styles too. Clean shaven, like a full beard trimmed short. <laughs> a bushy goatee with a short mustache. Friendly mutton chops sound good. What's a soul patch? Oh my god, I think we'll just stick with being clean shaven today, you know? Whoa, I'm like, I look 10 years younger. Thank you. So long. Did I really have to get naked for that? I feel like they could have just put a cloth over me or something, but okay. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Do you have anything I can loot here? It's very worrying that there's no customers here though, because it's like, oh, is this the really bad barber in town that nobody wants to go to? Or like, what's going on here? Well, I look, I look presentable, yeah? Especially without the beard. Maybe every time we come to a bigger town, we'll get a different haircut, huh? Hmm? So far though, we haven't really come across many barbers, so I don't imagine that we'll get this option too often. Witchcraft. Such a nice old gram. Has she got a black cat? She has. Dried herbs? Plenty. Are you a witcher? The hunters found a moon-shaped birthmark on her, they did. But did you ever hear of her hurting anyone? It all came out during her interrogation. She confessed. She made Willem's mare die, and her foul whispers led Gustav to betray his wife. He should have been there when she burned. Whoa. I had barely licked her feet when she started screaming obscenities. Revealed a true nature, she did. Was this about a sorceress who's... Is she dead now? Whore son's henchman. <laughs> okay, where's the whore son then? 
plan to fuck off. Shoot. What's inside there? Some castle, maybe? Yeah, that's a really big area that we just can't seem to access. At least not from this door. Could we push past uh. that? No, we need a key. We could go here. The mark of a dangerous guild you wear. Yes, the wolf guild. Wolf school. Uh, you were away then yesterday. Oh and yes, yes, we've been here way. earlier. Same as always. We can't go in here Started either. With the fingernails, ended with breaking her bones. Uh, uh, I can't There's got to be lots of locations Isn't that we haven't looked around properly yet, Lovely. even though we're starting to go back to the same areas. I feel like maybe this whole side here. Yeah, we don't actually have a goal to do here anymore, for now. But maybe we even want to look at this little strip of land here, huh? Oh, there's this. What is this? The actual academy? Maybe? If we turn around, we should see it. Like what here? Am I following the map right? Yeah, if I just turn a right here. Yeah, I think this is the actual school. <laughs> He's looking for witches through Look a telescope. Disease, defeatism and desertion. Okay, cool. Oxenford Academy. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, it's a little bit ruined though. What? Wait, these are books. Are they book burning? What are they doing? Enjoy living, freak, while you can. What? Can I read anything here? I guess not. There's so many books that I can't tell what's readable and what's not. Uh, what happened here though? It just seems like... Why is all this knowledge just scattered on the ground? Okay, I get it. I get it. We're not allowed in. <laughs> Do you get tired of holding that pose? Due to the ongoing hostilities, all faculties and departments of the Oxenford Academy have been closed, and the institution's privileges revoked. What? The student body is hereby conscripted into the Redanian army, with exceptions granted only to philosophers, whose constitutions make them unfit for any practical activity whatsoever, as well as medics and herbalists, who are required to report to the field hospital at once. So if Shawnee is still a student here, then she would be working in the war then, huh? Ooh, philosophers, get off easy. Long live King Radovid. Hmm. You can't even go to school during the war. No, you gotta fight for the country. Same deal here. Yeah, okay. Fine, fine. We'll come back here whenever... Is the war really going to let up? For the next little bit, it might be a while before that happens. Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, okay. <laughs> That's the same song that some other guy sang before earlier. Okay, we have a shore down there. And the little island that we saw earlier. It is. I am staring right at it. Oh, it's actually. It seems like it's connected to the academy land, but maybe it's not part of the academy anymore. It's just connected. Yeah, it's connected over there. Okay. Uh, we could go down and have a look, if that's okay. No, nope, that's not how we get down. Maybe this way? Whoa! That's a extreme stair climbing. Trying to skip stones? My daddy's a soldier. No. Oh. Look! Look! I'm looking. What? There's nothing. Don't try to trick me. This goes back to the bridge where we came from. So if we want to check out the other strip of land, we want to go this way. There's got to be goodies in the water or somewhere. Lots of kids just playing around. Wow. Hey, all you kids tell me to look, 
But there's not actually anything to look at. Huh? Nice, nice. Okay. Well, I guess we could just walk over like this. <laughs> not, not quite sightly, but... Hey. The Redanian soldier's like, what the heck? Ooh. What the devil? Got a very beautiful house here. Can we go in? We can see inside. Yes. Take all the alcohol, especially. These people live outside the main Oxenford city, but I imagine they're not too poor, right? Or like, what? what is this? Just a slightly poorer community, maybe? This house looks unusually decorated though, so I wonder. Is it just because they have kids and they let the kids draw on the walls, maybe? Emerald dust. Hello. It's a very nice household you got here. Yes, that's a very nice household you got here. I like your hat. What is it? Your little fez. Yeah, if she's wearing a fez, then they can't be too poor, right? Because that's more of a fashion thing. In general, these people don't look poor at all. No, no. They look maybe not the richest, but not poor. Sorry, did I stop you from doing your woodwork? You live down by the river. It's true what they say. Jesus that you can hear screams from the other papers. side of the punter at night. Aye. But you know the screams aren't the worst. If you listen close when the moon's full, you can hear this cackle coming from Velen. Bold women laughing. But in a way that makes me shiver. Whenever I hear it, I shut my windows, bar my doors, and sing lullabies to my kids till dawn. To keep them from hearing. You know how to disembowel a man. I wonder if that's like the the ladies of the wood. Ugh, oh, kitty! Kitty, don't hate me, please! I love you. Why won't you love me back? These are clearly peasants, but like if you compare them to the peasants in the other parts of Velen though, these people are richer. Erinaria! We needed that for one of our alchemy thingies. Didn't we? I think so. Hold up, hold up. Oils? Yes, I can finally make Spectre oil, but do I also need- Are you kidding me? Hanged Man's Venom. Um, plus 10 attack power versus humans and non-humans. Ooh, oh, I think I want both of these. What the heck, man? Where do you get that much Erinaria? Guess we'll make Spectre Oil for now. Dang it. Once we meet- Oh, you know what? What we really should be doing is, if I want Erinaria, maybe I'll pin it. I'll pin the formula. So whenever we come across an alchemist person, at least it'll pop up and let me know, hey, this person has Erinaria, or, you know, whatever. Can we pin more than one thing at a time? Or, I, I highly doubt it. Yeah. Can we pin something crafting related? At the same time as a potion? Ooh, lots of things we can make again. We're level 9. Is there a way to sort this by level, maybe? I guess not. Okay. Well... Is this better than what I got right now? I don't know. I can't, um... can't quite check it. I'm just trying to look for something that I can pin. Just so we're on the lookout for the ingredients. Uh, well, we know that we're gonna try to get the Wolf School Witcher gear soon, right? Because I think it's level 14? But we didn't pick up the, um, the crafting diagrams yet, so I guess it's not here. Fine. We'll forget about it. Okay, well, at least we got Spectre Oil now, but we still need more Arenaria for other potions. It's a bit of a rare herb. It's just a nice little community here. 
<laughs> hey. Ooh. Oh. That guy sounds diseased. Hey. I thought maybe we would find a quest or two here, but it seems like maybe not, at least for the time being. Oh, we actually needed to- Oh! Oh, we found an inn! That's good. That's good. <laughs> am I gonna steal this butter knife? You bet I am. The Wonders of Zeracania, my 10,000th copy. Have we not met before? In Loch Moin, perchance. Have we? You tell me. You... The chances of you remembering me are greater than me remembering you. Try not to disturb Boars. me. Boars. Boars everywhere. You know I'm your customer, right? I wish you luck. Ah. You need it. I'm your potential customer, why would you say that? Oh, this is like a rich inn. Oh, well, a witcher. Wait, everyone's playing board games here. This is not a regular inn, is it? This seems like the kind of place where you would find a quest person. Maybe not a quest starting point, but maybe we'll have to come back here later on. Huh. Pearls of the North. Have Two we not met before? In Loch Moin, perchance. Are you just trying to make yourself feel important? Huh. Raspberries, dried fruits. Anybody want to play a game with me? No. <coughs> yes. Hmm. No, it's like a I don't know a puzzle place here. Gaming in? Board gaming in? It's probably actually not even an inn, because I don't see any rooms. Yes, yes. I am Geralt of Rivia. Ah, Sorry. But you guys don't got anything here. Okay. Whatever then. You do know there are witch I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. You may make that mistake if you're illiterate or something, but a witcher is not a male witch. It's okay. I'm fine. Okay. Novigrad Gate. What? How far did we walk? Oh. Oh, wait, so Novigrad, uh, like this whole section here counts as Novigrad? Is that what's going on? That might be. Ooh, contract. The, the creature from the Oxenford Forest. No, so this counts as Oxenford Forest, right? But this is the Novigrad Gate. During Oxenford Academy's exam sessions, this gate would be closed to spare the students from Novigrad's temptations. Temptations, huh? Oh, there's a... the other... cat gear thing is here. Level 23, we're not in the super hurry. We'll just wait until we need to go do that. The volunteer. Okay, well, um, hmm. I'm sure we'll come back to Oxenford, but it seems like for now we're gonna keep heading into some unknown territory if we keep going. What is that? It's like a maze here. Um, I think for now maybe we'll just go back to the Baron then. Or? Oh, yes, Gwent. Gwent's at the inn. How about that? We got a whole bunch of things back here. We gotta hand in the Shrieker contract. We gotta um, do the Fists of Fury with the sergeant. We gotta do Gwent with the Baron. And races at Crow's Perch. Okay, well, let's start by going back to the inn then. I don't think we've even finished looking at Oxenford itself, but like I said, pretty sure we'll be back sometime. Oh, of course. Where is the gate exactly? Um. Uh... Chainmail's gonna rust up again. Yeah, that's... Oh, even these houses across the river look nice. It's right here. In at the crossroads. Don't upset the guards. Yes, I've learned that already. Hi, <laughs> floods all we need. Hello? Innkeeper? 
I met your brother, or uh, your brother-in-law, at Crow's Perch. He was very nice to me. You weren't very nice to me, but... I mean, I guess I get where you're coming from. And over me coffin okay, where's the... He died a drunk Did I not put the thing on? Here. Which one is he? Oh! oh what the heck? I walked away and I came back and he's here. Hmm. Break change? How about a game of Gwent? They say you play cards. They don't speak idly then. Times are tough, and rare cards are often worth more than a fistful of gold. So, will you play? Are they? Are they? Uh, is this guy gonna be really strong? Stronger than Stefan? Let's. Maybe I'll regret this. Do I want to put three Commander's Horn in here? I don't know. I think we're okay as is. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's just see. I feel like we have too many cards, though. We could probably take away some of these fours, because we have a lot of the other ones, too. But we'll just play and see how it goes. My opponent will go first, as usual. Okay, Biting Frost, Commander's Horn, Kedweni Siege Expert, Blue Stripes Commando, Zoltan, Prince Stennis, the Spy, Trebuchet, Ballista, Ballista, Catapult. Yup. Okay, well, we got a good bit of siege stuff here. We got a spy. Mm. The siege would work really well with Kedweni Siege Expert, but we don't have a clear weather thingy here right now, so... One... If I had to take something away, it might be the Kedweni Siege Expert. Decoy! Okay. I don't feel like I've really gotten a chance to use the decoy before. Maybe we'll try it out now. We can swap it out with another card on the battlefield, okay? Kind of like the Medic, but the Medic draws from the discard pile, this guy draws from the battlefield. Anything else we want to take away? Close combat? Mm, I guess we'll take away close combat. I got another Commander's Horn for that, okay? Nope, they got a Rider. Might as well just use Stennis to begin with. Whatever. Oh! Good! We got another Blue Stripes Commando. That's always good. Oh! Okay, well, he's also got a spy. Um... Can I steal the spy? With my decoy card? <laughs> it has a 7, though, so... I think Stennis is actually more ideal because his number is lower, but, uh... I'll take it. I'll take it! <laughs> Are you gonna put down more cards or just pass? Okay, interesting because he's passed and I know he only has a seven. I can actually just get seven, seven or more and beat him outright. Would I want to do that? What's the easiest way for me to make a seven here? Cheapest way. If I put down two blue stripes commando, that's a complete waste because they have a stacking effect. Yeah, that would end up being like... 8, and then double, 16. Zoltan? Zoltan and Vess, 10. That might be the easiest way for me to win. Or I can put down Shilard, because... No, no, I can't, because that goes towards him. That's right. Um... I feel like using Shilard right now might not be a bad thing, though, because if we don't use it now... The point of using a spy card is because we want those two cards that we can get from the deck, right? But if we save it up now and use it for the next round, then he's gonna get a 7 in the next round. So what I could do now is maybe I could... Mm, if I put it down, he would get 14. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's try that out. I'm gonna... Um, give it to him. Okay, and I got two more cards for that. And... Do I want to just pass, or do I want to try to beat him? I can very easily beat him if I use my Blue Stripes Commando, but is there a cheaper way? For example, maybe using... 15. Siegfried, Vess, and Zoltan. That's three cards. Would that be good? Hmm... I would be using four cards to try to win this round, but I think it might be worth it. Yep. 
I want to save these two guys up, just in case if we want to stack it with the commander's horn and stuff, but we'll see. That might actually be my first time winning the first round. Is it gonna be bad for me? Oh, I got a medic! Feeling pretty stacked right now, actually. We don't have to win this next round, but if we do, we can just decisively win and not even play the next round after that. Um, do we have anything worthy in our discard pile for the medic? Not really, just fives and the decoy. Uh, can we get the decoy back? How does that work with a medic? Yeah, so if we play the medic, and then we get the decoy, and then we can take a card that's already on the battlefield back. Okay. Um, not really a strategy I want to use right now, I don't think. Let's just play to win. This next round here. Because he's the one who has to win this next round to stay in the game. If I can shut him down, then we'll just win with a 2-0, and that's that. We have a good bit of Commando's horns and stuff, too. Feeling pretty good about this round. Ooh, a hero. Oh, what? Oh my god. Well, he gave me seven. He gave me seven. Mm. Oh! Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if the combined strength of all his close combat cards is 10 or more. This certainly qualifies. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, what? How come that didn't work? What? What? Oh. oh! What? What just happened? Scorch. Pillars of flame turn the mightiest to ash. All others tremble in shock and awe. I've never seen this card before. This card after playing kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, because... They were strongest together, so it took away two cards. Oh, how come this didn't destroy this? Is it because this is a hero card and hero cards are not affected by special abilities or something? I don't know. I don't know, I'm sad now. Oh my god. What even happened? I really hope he doesn't have any... Ah! Uh, what?! <gasps> oh my god, that was some advanced play here! Holy crap! Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat cards. Units, if the combined strength... Okay, but I had two sevens, so it destroyed both of them at the same time? Oh, I was planning on winning this round so that we don't have to go to a round three, but now I'm not sure what's happening anymore. Whoa, I feel like I'm getting schooled here. <laughs> Holy crap! Suddenly, so many new strategies I haven't even thought about before. Okay, let's just keep playing and see what happens. I do want to try to win this round though, because he has 8 cards. If I don't win this round, I've committed too much. I need to win this round. Look at 3 random cards. <laughs> okay, can you really act on that? I don't know. So what I've learned today is that... Cards with the same value in the same row are dangerous because your opponent could destroy both of them at the same time. <laughs> really scary. All my cards are in the siege row. This is really bad for me too. Do I have any... Oh, I freaking like redrew it earlier, didn't I? The Biting Frost. <sighs> Who can I bring back with a medic? Who do I want to bring back? Not Shelard, I don't think, because... A spy? I would like to have more cards right now, but I don't think I can afford it. Can I bring by the dragon to decrease his... Oh, what is going on here? Plays next to a card with the same name? Nope, they don't have that. Okay, these are different. Fine, good. Woo! My god, okay. I need something that's not in the siege row. I'm feeling really vulnerable right now. Let's bring back the dragon, maybe. Yeah. Yes, destroy his dragon. Oh! What? What just happened? <laughs> Zero? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. Wow. I never missed twice. Siege Technician. 
Ooh, I feel like instantly coming here after Stepan was not a good idea. This guy, he seems like he's a... Uh, an entire order of magnitude in terms of strategies above the previous guy. I'm really worried about weather cards right now. Oh, crap. Oh, that's weird. Why did he choose to put the commander's horn on this guy and not this row? I don't know. I know our number is really high right now, but it's... This guy has six more cards left. Oh my god. Okay, we'll just have to see. I bet everything on the second round. There's not gonna be a third round if I lose here. Oh my god. Okay. That tells me that he doesn't have weather cards. <laughs> okay. Do we have any hope here? <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh! I felt like, um... We won, but that was kind of a narrow victory. Oh, I learned a lot from this round. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's your name again? Olivier? Must admit, I scoffed and lost. Well, stupidity's got its price. My prize card's yours. Ooh, Menno Corn. That was an exciting round because I... There were so many cards in his deck that I've never even seen before. So many strategies. You've really opened my eyes here. I feel like I just played a round with a master or something. <laughs> okay. So now... Oh, okay. No, you weren't Olivier. You were the innkeep at the inn. You don't have a name. Olivier or someone else. Who is that? Uh... Oh, Olivier's all the way in Novigrad. Oh, he's gonna be strong for sure. Damn. Okay. Interesting. Whoo, that was... That really got me a little bit scared here. Okay. Well, let's just go back to Crow's Perch then. We can hand in the contract and do all sorts of things around that area. Oh, yes. Of course. Outside. It's pouring. The signpost is... Where is the signpost? Right here. Crow's perch. Still raining. Wonderful. It's getting nighttime too. But I think people in town will be happy to hear that I got rid of the shrieker. Hey. Greetings. Yeah? Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank you, Master Witcher. Your reward ain't much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Okay, uh... that kid's an orphan, okay. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan, need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling, inhuman. Well, I thank ye from the bottom of my heart. I even negotiated for this one too. <laughs> Daddy says you killed the beast that was eating folk. Daddy? You're not the boy, right? You're not the orphan. What are you doing? Oh, it's what are you guys doing? Is the boy still here? What? Your father's been avenged. Thought you might want to know. I killed the Shrieker. Thank you, Master Witcher. I know it doesn't... it doesn't bring your father back, but... I hope knowing that makes you sleep a little bit better tonight. Well, we did a good thing. We did a good thing. What's next on the menu? We have... Fists of Fury Velen. Yes, let's go do that. It's within the Baron's Keep area. Oh, it's drizzling. 
Is there anybody at Crow's Perch who we haven't played Gwent with yet, aside from the Baron? Not here. I don't think so? Yeah, I think this is the only town that I've actually fought everyone in Gwent in already. Maybe? There's not really an easy indicator for us to um, see this either, unless if we talk to them, so this might be something that we'll just have to keep track of more diligently. Oh! I haven't played Gwent with these people yet, have I? <coughs> How may I assist you? Okay. I'm expecting that you're not going to be too hard because that guy earlier was really hard. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Here's my gauntlet. My Gwent gauntlet. We also have, um... Menno Kohorn, but then he's only for the Nilfgaardian Empire, isn't he? Put all these in. Oh, special card limit reached. What? What counts as a special card again? I don't know. Oh, wow. Hey, this deck is starting to shape up to be something pretty good looking, too. Huh. Rain Farn. Okay. I'm still the most comfortable with my Northern Realms deck, though, so let's just keep that for now. Are we okay with this? I wish I had better cards, but we can't get better cards if we don't beat people. Scoia'tael. He goes first. Redraw. Uh, clear weather is something I definitely like having. Commander's Horn, Sheldon's Gags. We can make him go away. Yennefer Vengerberg, our prized medic. Okay. Uh, Sheldon's Gags. Crinfrid Reavers. <laughs> mm. Maybe I'll try taking away Zoltan. I'm really hoping for another Crinfrid Reaver or Blue Stripes Commando. Oh, oh, got another commander's. Ooh, this is actually not looking so good for us because we don't have that many number cards. Teruvial. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. We don't have any spies either. This is a problem. <laughs> our medic is our highest card. That's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Hmm. trying to think here because we we have way too many special effects cards dang it dang it oh but we can use a decoy to get it back if we're wasting too many cards in the first round what's that ability agile can be placed in either the close combat or the range combat row oh oh that's right that's sort of a specialty of the Skoyatel deck right I think we've seen this before what's your leader ability by the way Pick a Biting Frost card. Oh, I completely forgot about Foltest! I could have done Impenetrable Fog for the ranged row. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we don't need it right now because Teruvial's a freaking two. I gladly kill you from up close, stare you in your eyes, but you reek, human. You reek. Thank you, Teruvial. A part of me still wants to save the Blue Stripes Commando or the Crinford Reaver for if we draw more cards later on. But, um, uh, hmm. We don't have very many number cards. Not very many at all. Let's just try using another... another Ballista. And we'll decoy it back if things look bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're still a little bit lower than me right now. If I decoy, I think there's a high chance that they'll just pass. Trebuchet or Ballista, doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll just bring it back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, well, I made him use four cards, and I have... Eight? I have eight cards, but I don't have that many number cards, combat cards, so that's not the greatest. We'll let you win this time. Will I? If I just use a commander's horn right now, I can win. Do I want to use it right now? Guarantee a win? Okay. Wow, we're doing all these, like... Risky for me strategies now. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, winning is a good thing too, because we can get an extra card. And that's why I didn't use the blue stripes commando earlier. This is why. Oh! She has Biting Frost on command. We have to remember that. We can't put too much in the close combat row. It's not gonna be good enough. We can still maybe bait her into using it though. Again, same strategy as last time. Gonna try and see if I can win this round and just not even force a round three. Okay, this is good because she's gonna be less incentivized to use Biting Frost because she has a lot of stuff here too. Um, Let's win, man. Let's win. We can do this, I think. Even if she does use a Biting Frost, I have a clear weather. Melva. I have a impenetrable fog that we can use if we need to. Dobathlana, Archer. Okay. Mm hmm. Wow, we're pretty even right now. I have three cards left, she has two. Fighting Frost. She still hasn't used it just yet. I don't think she wants to. Does she? She does, doesn't she? Because she has 20 in the second row, and I only have 17, these two rows combined. But I haven't used my commander's horn yet. Okay. I'm just trying to think here because if I use the commander's horn on this row, yes, I have to clear weather, but if I pass before her, then she can use the Biting Frost afterwards, right? Uh... I have three cards, she has two. I think she'll pass before me. I think we're okay. Let's just use it in this row. She's still not using the Biting Frost yet. And I can use Impenetrable Fog as well, but I'm not using it. In fact, I should be, because she has 27 in that row. Okay, if I use a Medic, what do I want to get back? Ballista's the only thing I got. It's only the second round, that's right. In that case, it probably would have been better for me to use the Commander's Horn on this row, huh? Maybe I acted a little bit too hasty that time. Mm-hmm. It would be marginally better. Are you going to pass? I'm scared because if I do clear weather and then you do... Biting Frost... <laughs> what's gonna happen after that? Oh, I'm, I'm scared. Pass. Okay. <laughs> Good. Cool. Ooh. It's a lot scarier though, trying to win the first two rounds, because it feels like you don't have that same level of insurance. Thank you, thank you. 20 crowns? Did you give me a card? Oh, torrential rain. It's garbage. I think your your friend here also plays Gwent, but I'm gonna go do some fist fighting with the sergeant first. Wow, you've been traveling all over the place, huh? Bookie? Uh... What? Huh? You wanna... Folk don't object to your white... Which has whooped all challenges. <laughs> Who knows? Might knock you out. Yeah, I'm the Witcher. I'm ready. Huh? Look who we have here! The Baron know this is how his men amuse themselves? Baron knows all about it. He even bets in the fight sometimes. Bets like a dumb fuck always loses. Who's he gonna bet on? Yeah, I'm not letting anyone win this time. Let's start. All right, come to daddy. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Hold up. You scared me for a second. Well, come on. 
All I really have to do is counterattack. Just calm down a little bit and wait for him to attack me first. Hey, that horse is in the way. Oh. He's a little bit stronger, but not that strong. <laughs> Come on. I think for these fist fights, all we really have to be is a little bit defensive and should be okay. Maybe we'll spice it up a little bit. by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the sergeant and become champion of all Velen. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. I do to deserve Skelliger your Skelliger Isles. Yeah. And this be the Witch you. man, the freaking <laughs> nature. 160 crowns. Not bad, not bad. Okay, are we done with the rest of the things here? There are some races outside Crow's Perch, but I think the Baron would be happy if I delivered him the news of Tamara instead of just dawdling around the castle here. Are you in the... I think you're in the castle, right? You're not... Oh, it's the wrong quest. Here. Right, I think you're inside. <laughs> the entire crowd's dispersed. Sleep, 